This is the 2024 Honda CRV EX. Is it the best crossover SUV? Hey everybody, it's Tom from Vehicle Visionary. I hope you're having a great day. Today we're at Holmes Honda to give you the information to answer that question. Now there are a couple of different versions of the CRV you can choose from. This is the non-hybrid version. And there are some advantages as far as what you do receive on this particular model of the CRV. There are also some things you don't receive. We'll talk a little bit about that throughout the video. And if you want to know more about this particular model, check out the link to the Holmes Honda website. Now the exterior color on this model is platinum white. And you're probably saying to yourself, Tom, you don't have to tell us what the interior color is because we know it's black. Well, you might be able to already see that it's not. It's actually gray. And for those who want something other than a black interior, well, here's your option as far as the CRV goes. I think it looks a little better. It's going to definitely hold up better as far as being more comfortable during the really hot times of the year when you have that hot sun shining in there because it's not going to attract the heat like black interior will. So tell me what you think about that. What do you prefer? So let's take a look here at the front end and see about our lighting. LED daytime running lights, LED headlights, the flickering effect is not going to actually happen. That has to do with my camera. I say that because someone always asks if I don't mention it. And here on the front end, you will find active air curtains. They're not just cosmetic and they're not that big, but you can see this area right here. There actually is an opening on the interior of the fender well right here, right there. That's going to help improve aerodynamics. And by the way, this model is all wheel drive. It comes standard front wheel drive, but all wheel drive is optional across the board with every trim level, whether it's hybrid or non hybrid of the CRV. Let's take a quick look at what we have with our remote. Remote start is there. I'll give you a little bit better look with the sun helping us out there. A light compact remote but it definitely gets the job done. It has everything you need. So speaking of tires and wheels, let's talk tire and wheel size. The width will be 235. We're going to have a 60 series sidewall wrapped around the 18 inch wheels. You've ever seen those numbers on the sidewall of your tire, this area, and you're wondering, what does that mean? Now, well, now you know. And you have the power adjustable side view mirrors. They're manually folding. The turn signal indicator is built in right there. And I don't know, let's see if we can give you a little bit of a shadow here. Hopefully you can see it. There is your blind spot information system or blind spot monitoring. And speaking of that, let's talk a little bit about safety features. Honda sensing, adaptive cruise control, collision mitigation braking, lane keeping assist, road departure mitigation, and traffic jam assist. And going back to the remote, it is a proximity key and it has, you have the walk away feature here if you so desire to use that. And we'll finish things off here. You're going to have the conventional size sunroof. It does tilt and slide open. Honda calls that a moonroof. Some people like to call it a sunroof. I guess that's just a habit for me, but either way, that's what it is. The body colored shark fin antenna, the rear roof spoiler, and LED taillights are going to finish things off here on the rear. Here under the hood of the CRV EX, when you go non hybrid, you have one engine option. It's going to be the 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder, 190 horsepower, and the torque numbers come in at 179. It's mated to a CVT. Now, in case you're saying, well, what's the difference between the hybrid and the non hybrid? If you go hybrid with the CRV, you're going to have a two liter naturally aspirated four cylinder paired with dual electric motors. The horsepower and torque numbers come in at 204 and 247. An eCVT will be what you'll have in that particular case. And how about MPGs here with this model? 27 city, 32 highway, 29 combined, 3.4 gallons of gas for every 100 miles driven. And if you're curious about gas tank size, it's 14 gallons. If you want to tow the most with the CRV, well, you'll have to go non hybrid, such as with this EX, because it will tow up to 1,500 pounds. The hybrid versions tow up to 1,000 pounds. And you notice that that's not a power lift gate, but the thing is, once you open it just a little bit, it's dampened, 
that takes over and it's very easy to deal with. Now there is a difference in cargo capacity as well. Hybrid, it will be 36.6 cubic feet up to 76.5. Here with the EX, we have 39.3 cubic feet up to 76.5 cubic feet. Why is that different? Well, because you don't have a battery back here in this area to deal with. So you can actually change the positioning of the floor and something else that's an advantage to having the battery is that it comes with a spare tire. Now, if you do go hybrid, good news. You can buy a kit to add a spare tire. So in case you were wondering about that, that's the situation. And to maximize cargo capacity, you can just fold the rear seats down. You can see those fold relatively flat. So that's a useful thing. Now you do have a little bit of an area that rises up right here, but you still have plenty of room. And cargo lighting back here, along with some hangers for bags, grocery bags, or whatever kind of bag someone wants to put on there. And there's also a 12 volt power outlet. And we'll see what your rear seat passengers will find. Plenty of room with the armrest on the door panels. Well, seems to be pretty comfortable, I think, if I just put my arm up there just for a second, but I think it will do the job. And the door bin slash bottle holder right here will definitely get the job done. And for those who want to know about whether or not the seat backs recline back here, you should be able to see that pretty easily on your screen as far as the difference goes. And we'll hop on it inside. You have the rear seat pocket back here for storage air conditioning vents on the rear of the center console in addition to USB connectivity options. And one last thing to show back here in this area, the cup holders that are built in to the armrest that you can fold down or put back in place. And there is a sunroof here, conventional size. It will tilt and slide open. We looked at that earlier in the video from the outside. Now you can see it from the inside. And one more addition I need to make to what I said about those side view mirrors earlier. In addition to everything I said, they're also heated. So in case you were wondering about that, well, there you go. And you'll notice that you have a little more real estate here with the armrest as well as with the door bend down there. Now on this trim level, you will find a manually adjustable passenger seat, a power adjustable driver's seat. Within the confines of the glove box, you'll find quite a bit of space. So that's always a good thing. You'll have the, in this case, this is something that actually doesn't come from the factory. The dealership will add it, but it's good because you know your wheels are going to be safer because here is the wheel lock key within. That's actually what this is. That's the wheel lock. So when you need to change a tire, since you have a spare tire here, well, you'll need that wheel lock key to do that. And as far as connectivity goes here in the front seat area, you can see what you have, a couple more USB options and the 12 volt power outlet. No wireless charging pad, but there is plenty of space right here. Conventional shifter, you have your drive mode selector and everything else here that I think a lot of you know about. And if you're wondering what the L is right here, that stands for low. So what that means is you still have full power available, but you're dealing with the low gear only. And so in essence, it's almost like a granny gear for dealing with snow and ice and things like that. If you need to move through something like that, but you're not losing power at the same time. Hope that makes sense. We'll also have a couple of cup holders here and the center console. One question to answer, is it high enough to use as an armrest? Well, depending on where you position the seats, I think it will do the job. And within is going to be a little more space right here. Quite a bit of space throughout the interior of this CRV as far as storage capacity for smaller items. And for those who are saying, okay, Tom, I like what I see so far. What's it going to cost me if I want to come to Holmes Honda and buy it? Well, here is your base price, $35,290. Now, after it came into the dealership, features such as the window tint, those wheel locks, a few other things have been added. The price does go up a little bit. So just to show you what's here in case you were wondering. And we'll take a look in through the driver's side door here. Obviously, you're gonna have all of the additions you would expect as far as 
controls for your windows and the power heated side view mirrors. Traction control is right here. And if you're wondering about these blanks right here, I have a lot of people ask about that. I say, why is that there, Tom? Well, you could add different things. I, just as an example, you could add some kind of additional lighting to this CRV and the, the controls to turn that off could take up one of these blanks right here. And just so you know, there's a lot of different options as to how that could be used. Right here is the lever that drops the steering, or you drop the lever to adjust the steering, steering wheel, which I guess you could drop it because it's tilt and telescopically adjustable. So a pretty simple system to use. We hit the push button start. Everything comes up on the dashboard there. Very easy to deal with. And per some of your requests, now it's very easy to see because I got rid of the glare. So. Don't worry, I'm listening to you. And so here's what we have. And if you want to go to a different screen here on the left-hand side, you're just gonna hit that home button right there. And then you can use the scroll wheel next to the home button to scroll through, well, different information that you may wish to know about where this CRV is concerned. Your steering wheel mounted controls are here. Here's where you're going to control the headlights. And there's an additional feature right there. Some of you might be confused about that and say, wow, can my vehicle do that? Well, just try it sometime. But here's what you need to do. When you're changing lanes to the right or turning to the right, you push it into the up position and the same thing to the left, that goes into the down position. It ironically lets people around you know what you're doing. I know some of you are surprised at that. But you may not be surprised at what's on the right-hand side of the steering column. This lever right here, that controls the front and rear window wipers. Still trying to figure out how I can say something funny about that, but more sarcastic. Not going to happen. Now, one thing. You make it to this point in the video, we've got to give you some humor. So thanks for watching to this point. So one of the differences here between non-hybrid, such as the EX, or if you go to the hybrid versions, the Touring, the, or excuse me, the Sport, or the Sport Touring, those hybrid models is going to be found right here. The seven inch screen is the only option. Unless you go hybrid, then you can have a nine inch screen. Both definitely get the job done. They're easy to use and learn, but some people just like the look of the nine inch over this seven inch, but that's what's here. So I'm going to show you again, that flickering effect that you see right there is not really happening. It has to do with my camera. You see that on a lot of videos here on YouTube. And you have the multi-view rear view camera. So there we go. Now, one thing I would like to ask for your feedback on, tell me down in the comments section, or really maybe more so tell Honda down in the comments section, would you like to see a trim level of the CRV that offers all of the additional camera views that you can have on the 2023 and 2024 Pilot Elite and Trail Sport? Tell them what you think down there. And we talked earlier about driving modes. Let's see exactly what those modes are. So you're going to have normal, you're gonna have econ, and then you're going to have snow. And that's perfect for this particular model because it's all wheel drive. Now you'll notice there's no sport mode. Well, not using the drive mode selector. Now I showed you that L down here and told you what that's for. If you want to go into sport mode, that's what the S is for, just in case you were curious. Well, we've talked about the features and the functionality of this CRV. What is it like to drive the CRV? Well, the ride quality is good. It's definitely what I would call beyond acceptable. It's comfortable. It seems to soak up the bumps nicely as far as most of the road surfaces you'll drive on, if not all of them. I only have experience on so many, so there's a little limitation to that. Although the one thing I would love to test, the likelihood of this happening in Northwest Louisiana is very slim, but maybe every 20 or 30 years, but snow and ice. If you have driven an all wheel drive CRV in a snowy situation with ice, all that stuff, what has it been like? especially if it's all wheel drive, but even if it's been front wheel drive, tell me what that has been like for you. I'm always curious to know. And handling is good. You have a nice turning radius. It's good for the size of vehicle that we have here. And it definitely is nice and nimble. Very easy to get around when you live in a very large situation with tight parking and 
a lot of traffic, well, maneuverability is definitely not an issue. And as far as just the overall experience of what it feels like within the interior, it's comfortable. I don't feel cramped at all. At five foot 10, there's a lot of space above my head. So I feel like somebody who's in quite in excess of six feet tall would have no trouble here in the driver's seat, uh, fitting comfortably, being seated comfortably, no problems where that's concerned. I think that would be a good thing. And again, that goes back to your personal experiences. If you're six one, six two, maybe a taller than that, and you've either ridden in or drive, own and drive a CRV, tell us what that's been like for you. How do you fit? How comfortable are you? There's a lot of adjustability potentials here between the steering wheel and the driver's seat. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, very simplistic technology, easy to learn, easy to use. It's not overly complicated. And if you're saying, well, Tom, okay, tell me about the technology in say the hybrid sport. If you go with a nine inch touchscreen, it has a different look to it, but it's just as easy to use. It just has a little bit more of a, what I would call modern look to it. It looks a little bit higher end, but it's still very simplistic to deal with. And one thing that will be different there is that you won't have to connect your phone via a USB cable to pair it. It's wireless pairing, easy to deal with. I have tutorials on those types of things in case you are curious uh, to learn how to do that. But overall, a really enjoyable vehicle to drive. You have your different driving modes and all those good things. The one thing I'm always curious to know is if you could have Honda add something to the CRV in the future, what would it be? So tell me what you think about the 2024 Honda CRV EX. Is it the best crossover SUV? It definitely has a lot going for it. But I'm curious to know what your thoughts are on this particular model. Maybe you already own one. Tell us down in the comments what your experience has been since taking ownership and using it as your daily driver. Always curious to know what everybody thinks. And don't forget, if you're interested in this exact model or anything else here at Holmes Honda in Shreveport, Louisiana, check out the link down in the description of the video. I do want to say a special thanks to my friends here at the dealership for loaning me this CRV EX for the day. And a special thanks to each and every one of you for being kind enough to give me the opportunity to give you a vision for your next vehicle. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like button. That helps me out a lot. And if you haven't subscribed just yet, please consider doing so so you can see future videos. And if you would like to learn about additional vehicles you may wish to consider purchasing, check out the video that's on the screen right now, and I will see you there.